your friendship you used to go to the bar every saturday to hang out to maintain your good company you talk about what happens to each of you throughout the weekend you've been friends since college until now kate maya akira you Jimmy, except for jungkook because he joined the group after college but this past year only the five of you saw each other after Jungkook suddenly disappeared, he left without saying goodbye. All of them knew that he's going abroad, except for you. And now, you are on your way to go to your hangout place, since it's Saturday. You are singing your favorite song while driving, and your phone rang. You decrease the volume of the sound of your car stereo and answer your phone. Hello? As you heard a woman's voice on the other line, it was the voice of your friends. Where are you, bestie? We're here, Akira asked. I'm almost there. Am I the only one who isn't there? No, Mia and Jimin, you're also on your way, she replied. Okay, I'll be there in two minutes, you said and hung up the call. Later on, you made a grand entrance to the bar and went to the table where your friends were waiting. You quizzed them one by one and sat down. Have you ordered? Yes, we did, Kate answered. The door opened, as all seeing Mia who was panting and immediately went to her table. Why are you panting? Is someone chasing you? Girls, who is who I saw with Jimmy? His girlfriend? His mom and dad? Don't tell me it's Olive Oil London. I mean, Oli London. Aish, none of the above. It's Jungkook. You pause and look down after you hear the name of one of your friends. All their eyes on you because they know that you are upset with Jungkook. And honestly, they don't know if you can face him or how to react. Jungkook became your friends because of Jimin, but just after college, when you all had jobs, he started joining hanging around with you until he joined your group. You two became close to each other until he courted you. He told you that he likes you very much, so you don't understand why he ghosted you a year ago. He just disappeared without a text, call, or saying goodbye. The bell of the door rang, indicating that someone had entered the door. You quickly took your phone and pretended that you were texting someone. You know it was Jimin and Jungkook who entered according of the smell of their perfume. Hello girls, sorry we're late, Jimin said. Still, you don't look at them. Long time no see, YM. That voice. You don't know if you will be angry with the owner of that voice or if you will be happy because after a year, you heard this voice again. You know, you have no right to be angry since you don't have a label. You don't have a relationship. But still, you are upset. Is it because you are upset that he stopped courting you because you already had a feelings for him? Or you are mad because he made you hope, and then nothing happened. You look up and smile like nothing happened and say, How have you been? You don't want to show him that you are hurt when he left. You don't want him to know that you hope because your heart was filled with love for him. So even though it was hard, you force yourself to act 
I forget what happened. Jugo greeted all of your friends as you sat across a meal that makes you uncomfortable and awkward to him. Later on, the food ordered by Aki and Kate arrived. They were happily talking while eating, but you didn't look at him. Kate knows that you are not comfortable, so he sits next to you and holds your arms as she whispers, Are you okay? You smile and nod. They are talking about what is the reason why Jungkook suddenly left, but all he just said is that he will tell the real reason once he has talked to the person who is important to him. The awkwardness between you and Junko continue. By the way, YM, how is your new boss? Mia asked, since you told them last week that you will have a new boss. As I know, my new boss will arrive on Monday. Jimin do this on Junko after you said that. I hope your new boss is handsome and kind. Jimin. Even though he is handsome, I'm not excited because the bosses are the same. They give you hard work. And I'm sure my new boss is an old guy with a wrinkled face and a big belly. Jungkook looked at you like he was surprised by what you said while Jimin was laughing so hard. Until... What if your new boss will like you? What are you going to do? Jungkook asked as he looked at you straight to your eyes. If he likes me? Well, if he's kind and serious about his feelings, even if he is bloated and old man, why not? As long as he doesn't ghost me or disappear without saying goodbye. Your friends got shocked by what you said as you changed the topic to talk about something before you could say something else. While Jungkook is still staring at you as if he wants to say something but maybe it's not the right time yet. After paying the bills, you said goodbye to each other to go home. You get into your car when someone knocked on the glass of the window, so you put it down. Your heart suddenly skipped a bit after you saw Jungkook standing outside your car. Can we talk? I'm sorry, it looks like we have nothing to talk about. I need to go as you left. Not far, you stopped the car and ask yourself if you did the right thing. Do you really have the right to be angry even if you don't have a label? You also thought, maybe anyone also would be angry if the person close to them just disappeared without saying goodbye. Monday you woke up early because you don't want to be late. You know your new boss is coming today. You put your stuff down on the desk and fix yourself. Until you notice that there seems to be someone in the president's office. So you immediately check it. And you are right. When you saw a man standing near the president's desk, his back is facing you. So you can't see his face. Based on his clothes and his pants, looks like a young man. So you are pretty sure he is not your new boss. He should be old and have a big belly. Who are you? What are you doing in my boss office? The guy slowly turned around and faced you. You? Junko, why are you here? Yeah, leave here before my new boss comes, you said. As you held his hand and pulled you going out of the office. Wait, YN, listen to me, Jungkook said. But you cut his words and say, 
You can talk to me here. So leave. You drag him out until you reach the elevator. As you press the open button, the moment it opens, you push him inside while saying, Don't come back here. You cross your arms and wait for the elevator door to close. But before the door closes, you give him a deep glare as you go back to your desk. I would give you a chance to talk to me. After you leave me, you come back and act like nothing happened. You said to yourself, until you saw Junko come back again. Don't you understand? I don't want to talk to you, so leave before my boss come. But Junko didn't listen to you. You just walked going to the president's office. You got annoyed, so you held his arms and lifted him and fell on the floor. Ouch, my back! He groans in pain. That's not all you get if you don't leave. Why and what are you doing with our new boss? The team leader of the planning team asked. Your eyes broke out as we found out that Junko is your new boss. What? I I'm sorry, sir. You help him to stand and help him enter his office. Why in? You shouldn't be a secretary. It's better for you to be a bodyguard, Jungkook said. It's not my fault. You should have told me right away that you are the new boss. Of course, I was expecting an old man with wrinkled face and a big belly. Aside from that, you should have told me last week that you are my new boss. I want to surprise you, but it looks like... I was the one who got surprised because of what you did. You help him sit in his chair. Are you okay? Do you think I'm okay? I think my hip is broken because of what you did. From now on, you will work here temporarily in my office. Huh? And why? As I've said, you broke my hips. All right, all right, fine. But after you get better, I will go back to my desk. Okay. But where will I work? You go look around and immediately stood up and pulled the vacant table and chair. You placed it right next to his seat. Wait, I thought you broke your hips. Ouch! Ouch! See why and even though my hips hurt, I lifted the chair and table just for you. You went out and went to your desk to get your important things there until you realized something. I think I was a scam there. I said I wouldn't talk to him, but this time I am talking to him and we will always talk in the future because that jerk is my boss. Time skip. Since Jungkook is new to his job, he still has a lot of things to be learned. He is busy reading the documents to study on it until night. And since you are his secretary, you are responsible for helping him. Jungkook's back hurt from sitting, so he stood up to stretch when he saw you sleeping on your desk. He carefully walked to you without noise, so you don't wake up. I miss you. I'm sorry, he said to himself as he removed the strands of your hair that was in your mouth. Later on, you woke up because your back felt heavy as you saw that there was a coat on your shoulder. You removed it and returned it to Jungkook. Thank you. But next time, don't do this. Why? I'm afraid that my boyfriend will see us and he will be jealous. I don't want to hurt him. You have a boyfriend? Mm. And I love him so much. Do you need anything, sir? Because if no, I will go home now. Okay. 
You can go home now. Oh, I am. I'm sorry. You will stand up and say, Sorry for what? For ghosting you. I disappear without saying anything. Why are you saying sorry, sir? We don't have a relationship, right? Goodbye, sir. See you tomorrow. Jungkook was speechless and sad by what you said while asking himself, If everything is too late, what will he do now? The person he fought to his parents just to be with her has already forgotten him. Why are you drinking alone? Jimin asked and tapped his shoulder. Bro, I'm late. I'm already late. What do you mean? That girl I love has someone now. I lost her. Are you referring to YN? She said she already had a boyfriend. Boyfriend? When? Who? As Jimmy laughed, I'll tell something to Jim Crook. You are busy on your computer until you heard Jim Crook talking on the phone, and he called him Jimmy. Later on, he hung up his phone. Why, Ann? Mm, I'm going to host a party at my villa. I called Kate, Mia, and Aki, and they will come. You will also come, right? In your thought, if you don't go, he might think you're avoiding him. Y yeah, sure, you replied. Oh, one thing. Bring your boyfriend so we can get to know each other. You swallowed your own saliva and suddenly got nervous at what he said. Bo boyfriend? Yes, boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Why? Don't you have a boyfriend? O of course I have. He's handsome and I love him so much. Then why are you scared? And who told you that I'm scared? Oh, fine. I take my boyfriend with me. Good. I will finally meet him this weekend. You turned around and bite your lips and think about who you will introduce to be your boyfriend. What? Why didn't you say that you have a boyfriend? Oh no. I was stuck in that situation. That's why I said that. What are you going to do now? Where are we going to get a boyfriend to introduce to him? When someone came down the stairs, I know who will be your boyfriend now, Kate said, while staring at the guy coming. You get what Kate means, so you also look at Kate's cousin, who just arrived from New York. Hi, girls! Who are you talking about? You. So we continue.